Hugh Kerr, in his book, gives us the story. Have you ever seen a real king face to face? Not that kings are different from other people, but because they are kings, we like to see them and are interested in them. Once, I saw a real king, just once. I stood one day on the street corner in London and saw King Edward VII pass along the street in his motor car. Many people didn't know who he was, and in a little while he was gone. Everybody wants to see a king, and especially his own people, who honour him and love him. I want to tell you how a poor woman once saw her king. Her king is the king of Italy. His name is Victor Emmanuel III. When the great earthquake happened in southern Italy, he went to help the wounded and to care for the hungry, and because of his kindness, all the people love him and delight in him. When he came to his summer home in Ratongnigi, the people left their work and their houses and their farms and vineyards to see him. At one of the farms, everybody had gone but one woman who stayed at home to take care of the house and to milk the cows. If any of you have lived on a farm, you will know what that means. While she was milking, a man came to her from over the fields and asked her for a drink of milk. He had been walking and was tired and very thirsty. The woman knew that very few people like fresh, raw, warm milk, so she said, wait a minute until I go into the house and get you some milk that is cool and sweet. She returned with her gift of milk and cake for the stranger. How is it, he asked, that you are here all alone? She was afraid just for a minute, but his smile satisfied her, and she told him that her husband and children and the workers had gone to see the king. She did not understand why he laughed, but he laughed such a merry laugh that she knew he was pleased about something. Gone to see the king, he said. Well, not one of them will see him today. And why not, said the woman. Because, said the stranger, he is not there, for he is here. The woman thought he was joking, but when he put a gold coin into her hand, she knew he was no beggar, and when he removed his hat to say thank you, she recognized his face and knew that he was her king. Before she could say anything, he was gone, but she had seen the king and was satisfied. We, too, have a king. His name is Jesus. There's not one of us but would go hundreds of kilometers to look into his face but I am wondering if we would know him should we meet him. The people that day in Italy thought their king was to be seen in a palace among the nobles and the great men of the nation. But he was out in the field, alone on the farm, asking for a drink of milk. We, too, think our king is far away in heaven, and perhaps some of us think he is on a throne in the city of gold. But he is not there. He is here, among the poor and the rich, and the sick and the strong, and the little children and the men and women who are hard at work in the battle of life. And when we do anything for them, we do it for him. Be sure you don't miss him when he comes. Now, when the wise men looked for him, he was not in a palace but in a humble stable lying in a manger. After his crucifixion, Mary Magdalene and the disciples looked for him in the tomb, but he had risen. Mary thought he was the gardener. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us to recognize you in the ordinary, everyday situations of life. Experience Expecting that you will be where least expected. Humble, perhaps riding on a donkey, in our homes, workplace, 
but always where you are most needed. Amen. Go now expecting to meet the Lord Jesus Christ in your home, your workplace, the hospital or the street. Amen. Amen.